The only person I've ever known who could do the kind of drug abuse that most hardcore drug users do and still look good is Keith Richards. Johnny Depp. Yeah, yeah. No, he's not looking too good sometimes. Yeah, uh, he's better than Keith Richards. Yeah, no. He looks better than know. Keith Richards. Look at a po picture of Keith Richards and look at a picture of Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp looks ten times. Keith Richards. And looks, they did drugs Keith together. Keith Richards looks like the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> I love Keith Richards. Keith Richards is never going to die. Josh! Welcome back to our stupid reactions. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. Welcome back to Bollywood Bootlickers Reactions. Where we do coke before every reaction. Because we're Bollywood Bootlickers. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Split second, I thought you were going Lion King. Do I sound like Poppy? Yeah. That's, that's the only thing is. Sound like Boppy's dog. Today, we got a trailer. Uh, I think it dropped uh, just not too long ago, uh, but it's called Freedom Fighter. I think it's a Malayalam film. I think from the same uh, makers as um, 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 Kamala um, Jones. No, no, Great Indian Kitchen. Oh, Great Indian Kitchen Makers? <laughs> yes. Uh, oh! This is a anthology. Okay. Called the Freedom Fighter. Uh, Geo Freedom Baby, Jojo George. 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 Let's read these for me. Uh, Shundai Rajasha Vijayan, forgive mispronunciations, ladies and gentlemen. So it's an anthology. It's an anthology series. Cool. Um, we never got to. Did anybody? What was the feedback on the anthology we wanted to see? They had there's Zoya some, and. People say there's some good ones. Yeah? And then they have like three together. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's true. Um, well, there was a one with. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe we should do anthology. Karan Johar, who was the director on one of them. Well, that's. They have the Zoya, right? Karan, Karan on your and, and then. then um, who was the fourth one in that? It might be Antim Ali, maybe? Somebody somebody like him? It wasn't... No, it was the director of the Salman Khan film, I think. The one we watched. Yes. Khan. Anyway. Okay. Maybe we should do like a uh, anthology month or something. Maybe anthology week, because we still haven't got to any. Anthology month would work really well if you did one a week, because there's usually four weeks in a month, and then you could do one anthology. <laughs> anyway. Yeah! Okay, we are in the ready. Ready. Thank you everyone. I am very glad to receive this award. Yeah, yeah. We are going to get a lot of money. Yes, sir. I am going to get a lot of money. What? 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 That had more moods yeah. 
well, that then might be, I don't know. I don't even know what to compare it to. Well, that might be the point. Because obviously, yeah. each anthology is usually a different style. I mean, in that two-minute trailer, that kind of went from... That hit all the possible moods you could be in. Yeah. Goofy, happy, sad, scared. Um, man, does that look original and... I have no idea what's going on. It's Malayalam. Exactly. I, I was going to say at the very end, I was like, that's a Malayalam trailer right there. Yeah. I mean, Malayalam in general just doesn't show you a lot. Yep. And anthology, when there's four stories going on, you're not going to know. Gonna anything. You're not going to know anything. You thought it was hard enough with <laughs> one. <laughs> it's such a unique um, industry. Uh, Malayalam. Yeah. It has, it has a very definitive DNA to, to its trailers and to its feature, feature film Content, yeah. very very specific field, pretty much. It it, it all focuses the films on and trailers. It focuses on the story mm -hmm. as the star. It's it's usually that's that's the through line. Story and acting, are some like the most important parts of Which Molly is, Adams cinema. From yeah. what we've noticed in our what twenty something yeah films. And yes, there's you know cinema has multiple facets to it that are part of its purpose. It can be entertainment. It can be education. It can be enlightenment. All three of those things fall under the main heading of storytelling, mm -hmm. and and when you make story preeminent, and you have a great story to tell, and have it told by people who can do it in a believable way, it's one of the reasons why we so consistently see things we rave about that are Malayalam because they nail storytelling. Yeah, and with those filmmakers, Joe Baby. Uh, this one, and then some of the actors. I love this actor. I think everything we've seen. Uh, oh yeah, Joe George, George. Everything we've seen him do, we've liked. Uh, I like him a lot. Yeah. And then, um, and I, some of the other people, I I recognize from other things we've seen, but nobody well enough that I would, unless someone's going to point out, and say, yeah, you know who that is, and it'll be somebody be like, oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> you can't win them all, and it's still our stupid. I should have put an underline. On stupid. Under stupid. So everybody will realize that this is a stupid channel. Not to be confused with an actual gentleman named Stuart Pidd. Do you like Shri Devi? Also, Malayalam, front and center, is our future dosed Fafa. Yep, there he is. Whatever happened to his film? Which one? The one where he's down in the in the, in oh, the ground like a womb? Yeah, it was supposed to be like now, wasn't it? Beginning of February. Yeah, it was supposed to be February. What's going I on? Heard, I even heard Jack crap about it. Yeah, I... I had that custom made. I like it. It was on Etsy, because I had ordered some other prints, like that gun, the gully boy. Like, all these are the same artists. What about the, what about the one with the... the that one's a... Def I love that Nawaz one because it's so definitively I found that on the sacred internet. games. I found that on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> so that one was custom though. Yeah. Well, yeah. It was like I, you could. She was like, because uh, I ordered these, yeah. which are like two bucks for a digital download. She's like, let me know if you need custom work. I'm like, do you have any fafa? She's like, I can make some. Uh, cool. And then so I sent her. She was like, any particular photo? I was like, I love this photo. Yeah. <laughs> so That's I, our first. Wasn't that our first exposure to him? Kumalaji yeah, Nights. Kumalaji Nights. Yeah. It was the first time we saw Fafa. Was that our first my I th own film? I Might have been. Might have been. No! It, was it our second? Wait. No! Our... No. It's the first one we loved and wouldn't stop talking about for years. Still one of my favorites. Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, just, just in general. It's yeah, any old films. Anyways, yeah. that's, that's not what this is about. Who yeah, was well, watching this? A Fafa film, and uh, let us know about it. It might have already come out, so if you've seen it, let us know how it is, if it's worth a watch. Um, why are anthologies so popular? I don't know. And because it's, it's, it's not, not a big here. deal here in the States. Trilogies are. And trilogies typically only happen after the first one does well. Then they'll announce green lights for, like, more. Yeah. But... I can't remember the last time anybody intentionally promoted an anthology that was made here. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Anyways, let us know down below. Juice.